give me a few moments. I need to fill you in on some other details. Grandpa, I'd like to remember the stories how they were first told to me. They'll be better with all this stuff I forgot. Trust me. <sighs> Please don't ruin my memories. Now we're floating in an incomplete space. So he's completely shattered and broken. Well, I can see why this might have been easier to make <laughs> if there's a bunch of floating white space and weird disparate assets. And since it's an episode about memories, they mostly probably had to record voiceover and do animations, but these uh, the physical locations and items all would have already existed. So that probably cut down on development time a lot. What's going on here? We have a door, a xylophone. Oh, my controls are normal again. That's good. Alright, so we have... So we have music player, blue door. Who are you? A blacksmith? That doesn't look anything like the blacksmith we know. But the, the shield was the same. Is he misremembering the blacksmith? There's some kind of... I can't really make that out. Is, like a, is that like a phoenix or something? It almost looks like a bird painting. It says 3, 4. Oh, they have numbers on them. Some of them. Okay, trolls. Not trolls, sorry. Goblins? I forgot the word exactly. This thing says 5, 6. So they're numbered. What do the numbers mean? Do I have to pick them in that order? 7. Can I read the note? Music is the key to unlocking this memory. Um, I guess I have to skip it, because it won't let me out. <laughs> so do I just have to pick the numbers in order? You're one, two. See that? This is Tree Dorman, Am Amaya's partner. Grandpa, Amaya doesn't need a partner. She's a strong woman by herself. Besides, he kind of seems underdeveloped. You may be right. So one, two, sure. Do the colors mean something? He's got a red... He's got a red one and a purple two? This is three, four. What are those? Fairies. I couldn't figure out where they fit in the story. Perhaps the story was better without them. Are these, re are these specifically references to parts of previous King's Quest games that were not acknowledged in this in this playthrough? Did I tell you that the goblins rode around on rats in the caves? No, but how does that make any sense? My inventory is empty again. So now do I do? Do we just look at the music, I guess, and see what happens? I don't, don't know what the numbers mean. Oh. Okay. So, one, two, red, purple. So, let's click on you. Purple. Orange, pink, I think? Magenta? Orange, magenta, then you have what? Green, orange, I think, again. Gotta specify, because they're more similar than I was ready for. So green, orange, purple. Is that not right? Maybe his color was wrong? Now it seems like it's the orangish color. Orange, purple. Orange, magenta. Orange, six. I mean, orange, green. Is that... What is going on here? Okay, I think I missed a, mixed up five and six. Is that right? An 
corn song. How could I have forgotten a corn song? He sang it to Alexander when he first met him. I think a song would have made that chapter a little too long. Sometimes you get into a bind, tangled up in a knot. Don't wake the bull, why set him free when you can be crafty? <laughs> hey, little buddy, so the world's gone and hemmed you in. <laughs> Sure, little buddy, you might be thinking of getting revenge. Uh -uh. Don't call the ground with nostrils streaming. Grab a loom and need all this time for weaving. When life treats you badly, that's when you get crafty. No one ever fell apart, making macaroni your anger slip away while you're afraid of macrame. Little buddy, learn to crochet. Time to stitch your anger away. Life can get nasty, but you can stay classy if you get arts and crafty. Oh, I need a nap. I am so happy that happened. I was not going to take a single step once that started in case anything could interrupt the song. <laughs> oh, there was another puzzle in the ice labyrinth. I feared it was too hard to understand, but perhaps I was wrong. I had to find a way to get everyone on the switches. We really aren't going... We're not even going on the adventure he wanted to go on. We're just running around now. Just things are happening. Are they following me? Okay, well they both have to go right, obviously. So one of them has to go up, the other one has to go down? Huh. If I go... Let's see here. We both have to go up or down. I mean, I have to go up now. I can't go anywhere else yet. Then go right. Do I have to, do I have to, do I have to step there? That resets it. Okay. Weird. So if I go to the dead, the, the, the dead end, everything stops. This should work fine though, I think, right? Nope, it can't go that way. Can I start up here? <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of options. I assume you can't go back, right? You can. Interesting. So if you go anywhere that either of them can't go at any point, the entire thing resets. There's essentially different rules than we handled than we were dealing with before. It also means that he's been an unreliable narrative in the narrator in the past since he's apparently changed the story as time goes on. So apparently if there's no tile there they won't try to walk, but if there is a tile there and they can't go that way then we lose. So if I go right then the the one on the side collapses and we and we're in trouble. Let's see. So I should be able to go this way then. Because I'm getting this guy through. So I've pushed two of them across, but now the problem is I don't know how to get the other one across. If I go left, then the one on the right will get will walk off and die, more or less. Huh. Well, I can walk... How do I handle this exactly? Ah... Uh, 
This is strange. If I go left, I lose, right? Yeah, because he walks off again. Okay. I mean, there's only so many options. I'm actually a little surprised that I'm not seeing the solution yet. Maybe I misinterpreted what was going on when I went, when I went left. I thought left cut the whole thing off, but I may have been causing... Let's see. Did I cause one of them to walk off the maze when that happened? That... No, it dissolved it. What what purpose did that endpoint serve? It seems like it'd be there for a reason, right? So why does it make me lose? They should both be able to walk left, because the guy on the left would not walk off a tile. Because there's no tile over there, so he wouldn't be able to move. And that makes them not lose. And the one on the right can move left, so it shouldn't be a problem. What? Didn't I do that last time? Okay. So we're set then. What did I do wrong last time? Huh. I feel like I just did the same thing twice and got different results. I guess I could play back the tape to figure it out later. Oh, and there was this whole other hidden Wetzel wolf cave. Did I ever tell you about the time I raced on top of the bridge, trolls? <laughs> what about my sorcery Grandpa. battle with the Grandpa. wicked ones? Stop! Your stories were perfect. Didn't you tell me that no story is ever done? It just stops being rewritten? Uh, uh, I will go back and fix them. That's rough. We really are taking the flaws of previous chapters and recontextualizing them as being... regrets, basically, and gaps in memory, and things that you feel sad about. Is Acorn up here? Come on. Let's see good old Acorn. No! I could still make out some of squirrel tracks under the dust, and I wondered if that's why the shop hadn't been sold yet. We gotta say goodbye to two different groups of people now? So first we lost the, uh, Cobble Pots. Were they called the Cobble Pots, or am I mixing this up with Batman? Uh-oh. Uh, we said, said goodbye to the Cobble Pots, and now Acorn's not here, so... Twice the shop's been abandoned by characters that were pretty likable. What was that? Was that just a circle? Triumph commemorative plate. Whatever it is, it's transparent because you can see the wood through it. One out of three. There's a little frog thing. He knitted us a new friend every holiday. He knitted us a new friend. That's apparently not an item we can use. No one ever fell apart making macaroni art. I did appreciate that little song they gave us. But I want the people to be here. This is a really sad chapter so far. It's just an old man wandering around empty places. And now it's burning! You only get to look at one and then it burns? No! No! Castle. I ran back home to make sure everyone was safe. Did the place actually burned down, or is it just your memories are disappearing? Now nah, I'm worried. It, this, I mean, the flashbacks are the stories are being told at a different castle than the place that the series took place in, right? So it's conceivable that we're that it, it, it maybe did actually burn down. But it's hard to tell, because he could just be losing his mind. That fire effect, by the way, it's, it's beautiful. It's not necessarily convincing, it's just really pretty. Your mind. Oh! Olfi, where'd you go? Everything's on fire in this game. What the hell? Uh oh. Okay, let's move. 
I'm across. Ooh. He'll be lucky it even makes it back across his homeland alive, let alone going on an actual adventure. Well, hello there, friend. Manny, hasn't your game grown tired and old? Oh, I'm quite finished expending my efforts to refine this cesspit. I sacrificed my best years to the pursuit of a better daventry. Now there's nothing left for me to do except watch as it burns to the ground and to hope that it will all be forgotten. It was never about a better daventry, and you know it. You just want to prove you're better than me. Better than you? What have you ever contributed to this kingdom? If I didn't rig the night tournament, you wouldn't even be standing here. No, you owe your entire legacy to all the Cretans that sacrificed their lives to build it. Well then, leave my family out of this. Come out of hiding and face me alone. I'll grant you the rematch you so desperately seek. Graham, your bones are too weak for a duel of strength, and your ankles would fracture in any contest of speed. Would your rusty memory even provide any decent competition in a game of wits? What's the matter, Manny? Are you afraid if I win, you will run out of excuses for why you were never crowned king? All right. First, prove to me that you're still strong and quick. You know where to find me. All right, mine, don't fail me now. Poor guy. And so what? So Manny just finally gives up on any pretense of a, of even winning challenges or anything like he, he's been I mean I, I mean admittedly that's where the story just went but I just mean like he's uh he's pestered us for the entire campaign about all these constant issues where he, he's trying to try to find ways to undermine us and ruin our our family now he's just burning the entire countryside down it's like ah screw it I give up oh look at this little countryside this little spot we never looked at before this is where the badgers were dealing with the crops early on can I walk back into town and look around anyway? I kind of want to finish exploring, even though this, we're supposed to be in the urgency of fire. Is this place still burning? Oh, jeez. Can you not go inside these places now? It seemed like when I was younger, every door was open to me. But as I grew, one by one, they began to close. Locked as well. It really only leaves me with one choice. So I only ever could go up there. Damn. I had beefed up security on that back gate to make sure no Edsel wolves could break in. The lock was crafted from very rare chromium I mined from the caverns in Ceridia. It was resistant to magic and required multiple keys. Of course, I couldn't remember where I had hidden them. Sounds like we'd have to resort to just jumping over the wall like we used to, which worked just fine for a while there. That's rough, though, so just everyone starts disappearing after the first few chapters. You get locked in the decisions you made early on, and they stick with you forever, I think. Because I, I think that uh, siding with the couple pots is why I keep having access to this place. Unfortunately, the couple, co the couple, the couple pots get replaced by uh, uh, Acorn. Not that I have a problem with Acorn, but it's a bummer that they just kind of disappear around Chapter 3. But he had, they get a fitting replacement for the to have a similar quirky character. But yeah, the uh, the cook and Amaya are just gone. We haven't seen them since Chapter Two, I want to say. We might have gotten the briefest glimpse of them at some point, but they haven't really been reoccurring characters at all. Which is rough because they seem like they were going to be important to your adventure, but now they're just like these long forgotten friends. As you get locked into your ways, as your as your life progresses in ways you didn't expect. Why, hello, old friend. 
Yeah, this is actually turning into a really poignantly, depressingly accurate depiction of aging. One that I already can see at my much, much younger age than 77. Can I actually walk across this? What? There's nothing else to see that way. Sure let me come pretty far, though. Whoa. Look, I phased out that memory for a reason. It's not important for this story. And yet you're letting me come out here. Fine. Keep wandering through old memories. But there aren't any new things to see in that direction. Is that the case, though? All right, so I did hang on to this memory, but just for fun. That's not how memories work. Honestly. No, what? Stop making them disappear. I never did get to try any of those croissants. Now, can we get this story back on track? Giant stash of all the croissants that they were, that they were missing. Is that all I get back here? Now I want to... Now I just want to delve deeper into the white space and see what weird things are stashed about. How big is this area? I'm still running at the camera. Whoa. Alternate weirder cameras and he's kind of phasing out and the camera angle's changing. Oh, no, here's the beginning again. Was that just a weird, quirky endpoint? Oh. Weird. Hello. So here's the frogs and the test of speed, right? The back... So I have one back gate key, one of three tri uh, triumph commemorative plates, and a fruit picker. That's how we caught a frog before. Did we use a, p a fruit picker? No, we didn't. We used this to get the bees. Hold on. Apologies. It was a... Wake up, Graham. Your mind is strong. That's depressing. <laughs> so I don't think this is going to help me get them, is it? Hold on. No. That's how we got the beehive last time. Is there another... Is there a, can I walk over here? No. So I'm too slow to catch a frog. I've got, I can't even necessarily remember how we caught them last year. That was way back in 2015 when we did episode one. But I think I need a new trinket. I think I might have used Whisper, honestly. He may have done it for me after I did something for him or beat him in a challenge. Oh, I think I made Whisker, I, I beat Whispers in his race and then I, I think I then went on to uh, make him feel better. Okay. Now we have two plates. Can we mix them together? That's strange. They seem to fill in different parts of the background. But why? Are these collectibles for the sake of collectibles, or do these actually do something? Hello. Tournament grounds. And what's down here? All the water's dried up, so you can't get across anymore. Did there used to be a log stuck here? Oh yeah, this was the racing river. All three of us were stuck across the river, and we needed to get the tournament grounds. The bridge was out, because the trolls were on strike, so we needed to get across. And, uh... We ended up using a falling log. Or at least some of us did. Whisper just ran across, because he was swift. We shot uh, a chakra, shot an arrow, and climbed across. And I think, don't think that ultimately worked out. At some point, we knocked down the log. The exact steps are hard to remember, but that was that was the, this was the challenge that we faced, where Manny decided to strike because he realized that that uh, he realized Graham was vulnerable and not necessarily as capable as the other ones. So he tried to worm his way in, and it backfired because then Graham using the information that he got from other people and and just his ability to learn and experiment ended up basically making him win. Those shields? That's uh, Amaya's cart. 
But she's not here. The river's dry. Everything's just empty. All the details are missing from the story. Hello. Ah, that's right. I had tried my hand at designing an escape room. One key was definitely locked in here. If only I could remember the combination. Oh, after what happened last time, we tried to make an escape room. We need we need animals. There was a rabbit back here, right? Oh, this rabbit is designed to infuriate me. You can't actually walk up to it. It teleports you. So what is going on over here? These things are always more fun in groups. Well then, get your friends back. This light will help uh, clear up your tunnel vision. So it maybe is useful for some kind of tunnel? It's rabbits are everywhere, it's weird. Wonderful, my favorite. Abstract art. Hmm. I can't quite recall what the picture looked like. The color? Uh, I mean, it's clearly purple. Was it purple? Oh, it changed? Was it pink? Those are bizarre. Was it orange? Was it purple? Was it pink? Was it orange? I think I like the orange one the best, but who... Uh... I thought at first I was just asking, uh, answering what question it was, because it looked orange. At it looked purple at first. Wait one sec. Oh hmm. wait. I may be remembering this wrong. Is it making a number? There's a dash it's here. Purple. There's a dash there that wraps was back it around. Pink? Let's see. The pink with was the purple, purple looks like a two. That seems like a two. Was what does orange, orange look like? Orange fits also. Was it purple? So it's a, it's a was two. It the three dashes Wait, combined to sec. make it to make a two. Okay. These are the order. It's four clues to make the number. So the third slot is two. Oops. Okay. There we go. I need a rabbit clue, a frog clue, and the goat clue again. There was a frog all the way back at a... Do I have to count them? There was a frog... with needles back at Acorn's place. My first guess would be two. Maybe I had two needles, but I might have to run back to check. I'll see what I can get from the other ones, though. I think I have to count the rabbits. So, on stage, there's two. There's one up there, so there's three. Let's try running around. I'm trying to count left to right, and there's none back here. So, four. This is one over here. Hopefully, I just have to count the ones that are in this area. Five. And there's a sixth one hanging out in the background back here. Hmm. Yep, there it is. Wait one sec. So six is the rabbit for slot one. All right, so I'm guessing six two two, but the frog could be different. I don't remember how many needles he had, or even if that was the clue or not. But I I know where to check at least. Perhaps. What's your deal? Oh, there's one hiding over here. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade that right away. So it's a seven, at least. Find them little secret rabbits everywhere. Sneaky little bastards. Alright, what are you? Oh, we can use the weights to guess, to figure out how heavy the goat is. So you... So I, cl I click on a weight and put it somewhere? Like here? So it's he it's heavier than that. Heavier than that. 
Heavier than that? Okay, less heavy than that. Try the latter one. Latter one's also too heavy. What about the two latter ones? Okay. We need to figure out as accurately as we can how much these things weigh. Which might be a little rough. One question is, uh... Are these created equally? I thought they were different sizes with a different hierarchy, perhaps, but it seems that they these might be one weight and these might be another weight, and it might be just two different weights. Let's start with the light stuff first, then. What if we went three of these and one green? Would that be enough? It is. Okay, that, that's using a larger number of smaller objects, so it seems like it's more likely to be accurate about what its weight is. Okay, how do you compare to four? So you guys weigh less, um, less than four. Oh, they weigh exactly two then. These have an exact weight of two because the their weight is even with the with the four. How about you guys? Wow. So the greens are not very heavy. Let's see if I can get this one even or not. So we know that the oranges weigh exactly two. Interesting. If these are exactly two, then that means that right now it is one, two light, and when it's like this, it's one, two heavy. So this equals nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these, these things weigh three. These things weigh three. So two and three. That seems to be accurate. Just gonna go ahead and put these all back. So the tipping point. That's when it becomes too heavy. Oh, that's e that's equal. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, he weighs nine. I mean, he can't weigh any more than that because that's the last number. <laughs> that's so hopefully I'm right about that. How about this? Nope. My best guess is I'm probably wrong about the frog, so I'm gonna run on back and see uh, what number it made it may have been important about that. So he's got two crossed needles. He knitted us a new friend every holiday. You might be able to say that because he's three different he sections, that maybe that's the clue. It's a body and two eyes, or so it's three balls. But my main thing that comes to mind here is that the the frog d uh, saying two didn't work. But I think the needles are still the clue. There's two there's two knitting needles here. Crochet needles, I guess. There's two here. There's one up here on the shelf. I don't see any other ones on the screen, do I? So the answer might be five. Oh, there's three of them on... There's three nails on the board in the background that could be the same thing. So maybe it's eight? There's, th there's You can see three of them in the back wall. Okay, I'm gonna try eight, but I'll fall back on five if it doesn't work. I think counting those needles is the solution here. There's no other ones around, right? Oh, or it could be the number of frogs here, which is... six. Okay, now there's, there's a lot of numbers associated with frogs right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that it's the actual frogs, not the knitted frogs, and maybe the needles were complete red herring. And we're back. Alright, we'll try six for the real number of frogs. It's slot two. Oops. So there's six. No. So five for the number of needles in the room. Alternatively, eight for the number of total nails I saw in the room. Oh, it was that one. It was the needles then. Weird. There was a lot of ways to go with that clue. That seemed to be a bit ambiguous, the way there's multiple things that could be frogs. So, uh, I thought maybe the, the answer was the number of needles on the table with the frog, which was five. Then I thought the answer was maybe the number of frogs on the, by the pond, which was six. 
Then I thought maybe it was the number of, of nails in the room total. There was uh, five needles on the wall, uh, on the table with the frog, and then there was uh, three needles that were in, put, stamped, slammed into the wall there. But I thought I could even see another one in the background that would have would have made it nine, but I chose not to try that one. But yeah, there was a decent number of numbers to try, but thankfully all the other ones were pretty certain, so I didn't have to worry so much.